The Power of Forgiveness, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long belong. And as always, we want to leave a nightlight on for you. That nightlight is out of Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32. And be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. In his book, The Tale of the Tardy Oxcart, Chuck Swindoll tells a story about a young boy, and it demonstrates the power of forgiveness. The young boy was playing with his slingshot, and he accidentally hit and killed a little bird. Uh, He felt terrible about what he had done, so he didn't know what to do. He decided to go to a neighbor who was known for her compassion, an elderly neighbor, and he hoped she would be able to help him. When he arrived at the house, he was trembling with fear and guilt. He showed her the dead bird, and told her what had happened to his surprise. She didn't scold him or lecture him. Instead, she took the bird from him and held it gently in her hands. She looked at the boy with tears in her eyes and said, you know, I was once like this bird. I was wounded and broken. I I didn't know where to turn, but somebody showed me kindness and forgiveness, and it changed my life. Now I want to do the same for you. The old woman then took the boy's hand and prayed with him, asking God to forgive him and heal his heart. The boy left her house feeling lighter and freer than he had in a long time. This story reminds us of the power of forgiveness. When we forgive others, we not only free them from guilt and shame, we free ourselves from bitterness and resentment. God wants us to give the gift of forgiveness to those we are in relationship with, not just for them, but for us as well. Forgiveness sets a prisoner free, and that prisoner is often us. We forgive them because Jesus Christ forgave us. Now, that doesn't mean that there's no culpability for the wrong action, but the forgiveness sets them free from us exacting a particular penalty from them or us judging over them. We turn them instead over to God and allow God to do whatever he needs to do in that situation. But when we free ourselves, we we find the bitterness and resentment leaking away, and we find ourselves becoming closer to God and closer to others, and it tears down the walls that separate us from other people, and it begins to enhance every relationship, because a root of bitterness will spring up and defile many. So let's show forgiveness and tenderness to those around us instead of uh, bitterness and resentment. Let's pray. Dear Lord God, I thank you for this day. I pray that you'd be with those under the sound of my voice. Allow forgiveness to flow through us to those around us. God, forgive me for the times that I've allowed bitterness and resentment to uh, defile my heart and my mind. Help me, God, to be this kind of a forgiving, tender-hearted person. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great night.